Hey guys, John Hartley here, and uh, I downloaded Adobe Edge Reflow Preview today, which is the first of the series in, in Reflow, and it's finally out. I've been very excited about this, and I wanted to kind of show you my first go round with it. So when you open up the program, you have this main project, and you have your container, which is 90% of the width. It's margin zero auto, so everything is centered up nicely. You can add a box. We're going to add a box in here, make that our logo, and you have all these different options. You have visibility, visible, hidden, make it visible and all these others that, that we'll go over. Uh, one thing to notice right away is that your size is figured out for you. So you have 14.66%, and that's the width of inside this container. Once you drag over here, you can see it's almost like resizing your browser. So that's gonna get really small because it's only 14%. So let's go ahead and add a new size. So we click this plus sign and then we can just drag this to whatever size we want it to be. We'll go with 320 for the standard portrait mode of most mobile phones. And so that doesn't look very good. So let's go ahead and just drag this all the way across and now it's 83%. But what did that look like when it was blown up? We can go back to our default and now we see how that looks. Now let's go ahead and add another one for say 640. All right, so we have our 320, we have our 640, and we have our default. For 640, let's go ahead and take it about halfway. So there we go, 40%, 83%, and our default desktop mode of 14.66%. One thing to also note with this is that when you click on this box, you can see down here that it has the different widths already set up for you in your CSS. I'm not saying that this is the best way to take the CSS from your layout and put it into your actual style sheet. Uh, probably have some cleaning up to do, but it is one way to effectively create your style sheet without knowing much about CSS. Then you run into situations of people not knowing exactly what they're doing, but it's besides the point. Uh, so then you can add text. We'll add a text box down here. Welcome to the site. Whee! And we will move this elsewhere near the middle of the page. Again, this is on our default. So if we go back to 640, that new element is still there. We can bring it all the way across. And 320, it's the same as 640. So it looks like that. So pretty cool. That's uh, just a very quick look at the program. I'm sure there are many more things that you can do with it. I just haven't done anything yet because I literally just downloaded this program. Um, so go ahead and check that out and see what else you can do with Adobe Edge Reflow.